we're going to do another video blog here. We kept promising and threatening that we were going to do more video blogs, and it's been uh, weeks in between that promise. So here we are. <laughs> yeah, we figured we probably should actually actually do something. Uh, so we're excited to uh, kind of get a lot more of the Le Bois model guitars rolling through the shop. So. We've got a couple of really sweet ones here. Marco, why don't you uh, go ahead and talk about your Le Bois that you have here that's uh, in your hands? Well, this is a uh, Le Bois Custom in lava finish with a, a smooth classic P90 set and all the standard Le Bois appointments, uh, hip shot hardware and strap locks and these awesome knobs. So yeah. yeah. That Let's one's got that. cool natural binding and then you've got... Uh, you can see that. Yes. Very nice. Black back, dark back, however you however you say that. <laughs> yes, very cool. Yeah, and then rosewood, rosewood board on that one, right? Yeah. yeah. So that one looks looks pretty cool. So one of the things what, that we are doing with the Lebois, and we'll talk a little bit about them, but kind of our, our main subject today is kind of why why make a guitar. Uh, we've been a pickup company for a long time. We've covered this a little bit in our podcast. If you want to listen to that on iTunes or you can go to the community tab on our website look for the tone cast and we do the same spiel every time we, we uh, have the podcast. So you've heard this before if you listen to the podcast, but we do want to make sure that you are aware of the podcast as well. Uh, but really like for us releasing a guitar, you know, this is a big, kind of a big deal. Uh, we came out with the Croesus last year. Now uh, we have quite a few Le Bois coming back. You can see one behind me here, a couple Croesus behind Marco. Um, for us to release a guitar was kind of a kind of a big deal. Mm -hmm. uh, we we've been known as a pickup company for a long time, and we kind of hit the ten year mark, and we kind of asked ourselves, what do we want to do with with the business? And so we really started thinking about what do we want to do, and and it was kind of a uh, you know back to our roots in a way, and you know the initial love for guitar and the in, initial trying to mess with guitars and mod guitars and and create all those different things turned into Porter Pickups. So Porter Pickups came out of that, and then it was kind of kind of time to go back. And mm -hmm. so that's really like the, the long story short of kind of why we did it. Um, and really like, you could talk about the Croesus a little bit, Marco. It was sort of like kind of blurring the lines of, of something focused on the pickups, but still getting into the guitar world. So talk a little bit about the, the Croesus guitar specifically that you're, you have behind you. Yeah, uh, well this is the uh, Fiesta Red one right here, but you can see the pick guard and all the uh, all the different kinds of pickup sets obviously that fit in there and so there's a solderless system that lets you switch go back and forth from your humbuckers your p90s your single coils your you know your portatrons so it just kind of makes it to where you get a neck that you like you get a body that you like and then you know the the pickups the variables that's something that can be changed and and very suited to your personal taste yeah and we wanted to do something that we knew that we could change the sound on. I mean, that was sort of the the initial thing with that that guitar. And so this one was, I would say this one was a lot more closely related to the pickups. Yeah. Not that this the Le Bois isn't, but it's just kind of a, you know, it features the pickups. You can swap out the pickups really easy, and and everything is kind of about like, you know, the sound and a good platform for that sound. And and it's no different with the Le Bois, but. Uh, with the Lebois, we have the rear routes and we have the fixed pickups, things like that that are different than the Croesus. Um, and as you can see, they're two different guitars. They look a little different. And, and really, each guitar kind of lends itself to its own unique flavor and things, things like that. So really, like, the, the big thing for us is kind of like we're looking for ways to keep pursuing tone, I think is probably like the... If you boiled it down to like yeah. exactly what you know the what we're really shooting for is is pursuing tone, offering our customers something different, um, and doing it in a way that uh, we can be proud of and that we control the process. So we make all the you know all the parts and and the necks and the bodies and obviously the pickups as well. And so one advantage I think that we've been realizing is that once you pick a guitar, you can actually talk with us and choose like we can help you choose the pickups mm -hmm. you know so if marco you know you're playing blues on the weekend or something like that man i really would i think i would like this if you're a jazz guy maybe we would go with this and so our guitars have a ton of options and i think it kind of gets overwhelming a little mm -hmm. bit but really it's one of those things where if you just keep 
keep looking at them and, and say, okay, I like this. You know, like for example, like this one is just finished up this week. Yeah. And we've been getting a lot of really good looks on this one but just because it's a little bit different. And, and same with that. And these are both yeah. the same same guitar. Same guitar, yeah. Just different specs. And so it really creates kind of some cool uh some cool options. And so um I think that's kind of like the the long story short of, of why I make a guitar. Um, I'd like to talk a little bit about kind of um, some reservations. You know, this is kind of a uh, straightforward and kind of an honest blog. And, and being that we also we work with guitar companies as well. Right. Yeah. You know, kind of being seen like, oh, are we getting into competition with these guitar <laughs> companies? And and people we work with are, you know, how are they going? What are they going to think when we come out with our own guitar? And and really. Um, you know, for us, it came down to like trying to figure out again what we want to do as a company, what we want to offer, and this made the most sense to, you know, not that we're switching to this at all. It's just complementing what we already do, and it allows us to bring in new products and to uh, essentially go for it. Yeah. You know, and so that's kind of the way that that it's gone. Um, we've had some great feedback from people in the in the shop, and um, that's kind of the. You know, just the general idea of, of why we did it and kind of the reasons behind it. And this is not like a uh, justifying video <laughs> necessarily. You know, like we, this is why we we did a guitar. We're going to prove to you and all that kind of thing. Yeah. But, um, you know, really, like I think for us too, and, and you can maybe talk about this, is kind of just like it's kind of our personal tone journey as well. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe talk about kind of like how these guitars have, have sort of like inspired you to play different things and yeah. stuff like that. Well, and just the fact of, you know, when you start making the guitars and you're picking out woods and, you know, oh, I want something that looks cool, but then, you know, you put that in a guitar and you're like, well, actually, maybe like the sound of, you know, a more traditional spec. And then as far as you putting the pickups in it, it really is, yeah, really furthering that tone journey and then learning more about how our pickups interact with the, you know, the woods of which they're put into in guitar form and really just trying to zero in on finding those tones that we're, we're chasing, I guess. Yeah. And, um, you know, this is like a classic shape, you know, uh, you know, single cut shapes, they're nothing new and, and it's just, it's just a comfortable when you pick it up, it still feels like a killer guitar and, yeah. and I don't know, the, the, you know, you can pick up these two guitars and they're going to make you play differently just because mm -hmm. of what maybe your subconscious is telling you when you're, when you hold the guitar and you see the, the lava finish or the, yeah. the sonic blue, you know, so it's really, a it's just fun and, and. I've just been surprised at all of the guitars that have been coming back. And yeah, each guitar we kind different. of put, yeah, I mean, we kind of put our own, like, stamp on each guitar. Um, it comes off of a CNC, very rough carb, and then we, you know, hand carve it from there and really make sure that it feels good, it's comfortable. A couple different players get it on their hands before it ever gets finished on it, uh, things like that. And, you know, we're trying to take these extra steps to make them play good and sound good and feel good and all that. Um, it's been a pretty intense journey, I would say. Um, you know, having the Krosis out, you know, a year and a half ago, so we're in the fall of 2018 at this time of this video, we got the Krosis out, and then we kind of went through a crazy summer slowdown, and then we started thinking about the Le Bois, and so we, we've kind of been sort of seeing a little bit of the fruits of our labor when, when getting these guitars back and getting them to customers and working on stuff for stores, and so, it's just, it's like a brand new baby business that we're trying to, you know, trying to figure out. And um, all of the ones that you're probably seeing coming out, except for orders or, or store guitars, are, are specs that we've chosen. So we put together a list of, you know, probably 30 guitars mm -hmm. and chose, chose the specs for those guitars. And, and Marco chose a lot of pickups yeah, for the guitars. Scrutinize the pickup. I yes, guess. different mm -hmm. model. Oh, this model, you know, let's try. This like needs this, and this yeah. needs that, and so, really, that's been fun for me. I don't know if it's been fun for you, but oh, like yeah. that, that like final. Okay, we decided wide ranges on this one, and then it was down to like, okay, well, what, what about pickup rings? What are we going to do with the pickup <laughs> rings? And and uh, so I think my wife suggested let's do parchment pickup rings, and it really sets the guitar off. It really, it really does well. But you may see this and say, well, actually, I think uh, black pickup rings would look better, mm -hmm. you know, things like that. And so the beauty of some of these guitars, you know, these ones are a little bit more, um, you know, they're a little bit more pre-chosen in terms of, you know, you only have P90 routes, so you can go minis, you can go regular P90s or, or uh, 
A90s or something like that in that guitar, where this one is, is routed for wide ranges and that's all you're going to get. Mm -hmm. um, so really with the Le Bois, if it's a guitar that interests you, um, you got to get down to that category, at least the category yeah. of pickups that you like. Um, but the beauty again is like, pick your category, pick the pickup configuration. We have five different uh, configurations available for the Le Bois. Mm -hmm. And then from there, we'll talk about tone. We'll talk about uh, what makes sense for you? What neck pickup would be good for your application? What bridge pickup would be good for your application? So a lot of the Le Bois by default have been dual humbucker Le Bois just because we have so many options um, within that category. Yeah. So we'll be demoing these guitars here fairly soon. Keep watching back on our video channels for more, more, uh, more just, stuff. just demos yeah. and, and more video blogs. So we appreciate you guys listening. Uh, watching this video blog and we'll do a lot more of these again in the future uh, leave some comments below if you have questions if you have uh, hey I want to see more of this this or this um, let us know we'd love to talk guitars we love to talk tone um, pickups everything so we're kind of obsessed with all those yeah. those elements and so everything that goes into these guitars is uh, a lot of thought and a lot of uh, um, sleepless nights and, and all that good stuff mm -hmm. so appreciate you guys listening again and we'll catch you next time